Well, hello and good morning. This is the start of Mini Beano 05 2017, the Discovery Beano. The hashtag MB05. It's calm, it's quiet, it's not particularly cold. Anyway, Saturday the 29th April 2017, 0406 hours, British summer time. You won't be sure. <laughs> he messes his up. You won't be surprised to share that I'm going back to Hereford. The discovery is be a discovery. There's a link to toit.tv. I need a scotch egg before I start. And then at quarter past five, I'm gone. Can't wait. Well, I'm ready to go. I don't know if you can see the time on there, but it's just before five o'clock. So I'm ahead of schedule. I might just go anyway. It's a nice day. Avoid all the traffic. Uh, here's all the traffic. I'm happy. I don't know. I always get worried when I'm happy. It always is a harbinger of doom. The Discovery Doom be no. Maybe. Well, I'm back. This is where I'll be staying tonight. And I think it's ten times extra nectar points. So I might get some food there. Who knows? Anyway, oh, petrol station's opening. Hmm, odd. Half six maybe. I'm off in that direction. I hope. Well, history. However, they're opening, which is good. Ready for breakfast now. The local spoons in Hedford. The king spoon. So, there was a full English, um, it's on Twitter, and it's also on Mastodon at No Agenda Social. So, first beer, and um, just one chair before we move on. Uh, this is Saved by the Bell Bespoke Brewing Co. 3.8% alcohol by volume, light hoppy forest bitter. Forest because they're in the forest of Dean or somewhere like that. I don't know. Nice looking head, but a carpet for Mr. Manning. Hmm. I'm getting tons of malt and a little bit of hops. I'm not altogether sure. Creamy head. A B plus. It looks nice. But I'm not keen. But I wouldn't call it hoppy at all. Time for discovery. Ooh. Yes. Perhaps I better shut up and just get on with it. Gotta be quick, battery's yeah. going down. Anyway, so here's the menu. And I'm on number five from the beer. Cloud water, double dry hopped passion ale, 5.8 percent And sure it is. It looks oh and it smells. I mean I don't really know what passion fruit tastes like, but it's fruity. Mm. Mm. Magic rock. Let's have a crack. Ooh. It's fruity, but then it hits you with a huge bitter finish. <laughs> Tingly on the tongue. Big plus plus. Absolutely. Sometimes life's a bit complex, like, I need to really review this. 
but I'm down to only 44 minutes battery life. And probably not 44 minutes for this anyway. Reading it off the wall, heavy water with hazelnuts and cocoa, sour cherry and sea salt imperial stout from Beavertown. And a Beavertown coaster. <laughs> Be a mad. 9.8% alcohol by volume. So, and if Mr. Manning's watching, lovely bit of flooring. Smells like a really powerful, interesting stout. However, rolls of complex and different layers of flavour. Lovely finish. Get the taste coming through. And I would just give up and say that's complex, but it's complex and beautiful. B plus plus and the bit. 3.75 on untapped. Yes, I'm a hard marker. Okay, so from the USA. <laughs> um I'm not gonna sure who I saw this with, but this is eleven point nine percent alcohol by volume. Founders KBS, a flavoured stout. They missed out the U, probably because they're American. I'm in trouble for that. Hmm. Not a particularly strong aroma, but. Oh wow! Strong tasting, but not alcoholically strong tasting. And then the chocolate and the coffee come through. And then you get a really strong finish. That nearly pushes you off your chair. B++. Nikella. I thought they were just all brewed in Belgium, but this is brewed in San Diego. Be a Greek breakfast, 7.5% alcohol by volume. Started off with a huge head. <coughs> Doesn't smell. Oh gosh. Doesn't smell stouty. Mm. Doesn't taste <coughs> seven point five. Tastes strongish. <coughs> You're getting the stouty finish, which is rather nice. It's a news Very drinkable. Extremely drinkable. I think B. Gosh, tiddly. Um, mustn't start a video with them, but there you go. From Cornwall, a Verdant Brewing, a light bulb. An extra pale ale, four and a half percent alcohol by volume. Lovely flooring, Mr. Manning. No, candy cameras when you don't know about it, I'm doing it badly. Okay, let's go. Oh, lovely fruity aroma. Mm. Like a semi sour DIPA, but a four and a half percent alcohol by volume with a bit of finish. You could drink this all day. B plus and a bit. Uh, 2014. <laughs> and Brandy Glass, Eastman's Wood Creek, Old Creek, Cave Rene. 2014, 7% alcohol by volume, bottle conditioned. Oh, aroma. Oh. Sour acidic. Sipping, really. B plus plus and a bit. Two point 
No, 3.75 on the top scale. Wow. Really, 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 really good.